What's up, everybody? Uh, so quickly, I want to go through the way to twitch your bait or your lure, as that is one of the best ways currently to catch trophy largemouth bass. And a lot of people have been asking questions about why can't I catch them or why can I not catch them. So previously, I posted a video about how to catch the trophy largemouth, and then I wanted to, to talk to you about how to do the twitch technique and what it needs to look like in game. So first, we're going to talk a little bit about your tackle. So depending on the gear ratio, which you see right here on your reels, certain reels are going to require a speed of two or three, depending on how fast they retrieve. And you're going to have to play around with it a little bit. Um, as you switch reels, you'll have to probably change the, the rate at which you reel. Um, but really, all you're going to do is hold down your left mouse button and then right click, right click, give it a little bit of a pause, right click, right click, give it a little bit of a pause, right click, right click, and the whole time you're holding down your left mouse button. So I'm going to try and demonstrate it, and maybe we'll catch another trophy largemouth while we're doing this, um, which wouldn't hurt my feelings. So uh, here we go. The rod doesn't really matter. Um, I haven't found that that really has made a significant difference. Um, really, whoops. That's how you cast. That's a demonstration there. Um, really, what I would tell you that, that made it difficult was just adapting as I changed reels. Uh, I found that different reels uh, had different speeds, obviously, with your gear ratio, and that would change things. So we're just going to reel, and then right-click, right-click. And ideally, you want to try and keep the bait in the middle, off the bottom. You can see there it's got the retrieval, and there we get a bite. So, this will probably be about a two-pounder. Um, I would say this is a really good spot to practice is right in through where we are here because you can get a lot of trophy largemouth as long as you have the right uh, bait, which I put in the top left corner there for you all so you can kind of see. Um, but you're just holding down the left mouse button, double-tapping your right mouse button, and there you see we got three. And that, those dots are really explaining to you how effective your presentation is to the fish. So with that, that kind of tells you how likely you are to get a bite. Now in the earlier stages in the game, it doesn't matter as much. But as you get to higher levels, there's certain fish that want to have a really good presentation or they're not going to bite. So those dots, the more dots you have that are filled in, the more likely you are to get a bite is basically what it means. So... Again, same thing, just right click, right click, and you can see we really want to try and keep it off the bottom so we avoid the snags. Um, and you're not going to catch a fish every time, but it's pretty effective in the, end, in the starting area where we are here. And it's really the only way I've found to catch trophy largemouth in the early stages of like level 4, level 5, stuff like that. So hopefully this answers the question for you guys. Again, remember... Real speed that I have on two, if I move it to one, you can see we're going to drag more towards the bottom. And we're not really going to get it as effective as a presentation. You can see it's not really working as much. Now, so we still got a hook set, but if we were in a higher level area, we wouldn't be as likely to, um, as likely to get a bite. So, same thing. Uh, what I would recommend is play around a little bit. Some of them you're going to be on real speed 3. Some of them you'll be on real speed 2. Some of them you'll be on real speed 1. Real speed 2 is probably the most effective for keeping it in the strike zone. Um, you can see here with this reel, it's it's a little bit faster, so it, it keeps it up on, on the top. And we didn't get any bites. So we'll go back down to 2, and that's kind of the way you guys want to do twitching. So hopefully that helped again. You're going to, as you saw my rod tip rise, reel, click, click, reel, click, click, reel, click, click, and that's the pattern it should be. You're holding down the left mouse button the entire time, and then you're going to right click um, in two quick successions, and then pause, and then two quick successions again. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Thank you all for all the support, and thank you for watching. Come check me out on Twitch if you get a chance, and uh, check out some of my other videos while you're here. See you.